All right. Now, the judiciary intends to establish service desks in 52 Huduma centers across the country to ease access to justice. Chief Justice Martha Komei, while leading the inaugural Judiciary National Day of Prayer and Fasting, called on the executive for adequate development budgetary support to build more courts and refurbish the court's infrastructure. Exactly a year since she ascended to office as judiciary head, Chief Justice Martha Kome took stock of her performance. She appreciated successes in operationalization of the judiciary fund and establishment of a judiciary police unit. Another notable achievement that we wish to thank God for is the establishment of a judiciary police unit with 3,000 police officers, which is key to securing our court infrastructure, our personnel, and court users. Kome thanked the executive for the 1 billion shillings additional budgetary allocation to help ease the cash crunch affecting the judiciary. I'm extremely grateful. We have received a small increase in our budgetary allocation of 1 billion shillings. I look forward to even more increased budgetary support going into the future, considering the enormous task of institutional building required in the judiciary. The third arm of government will also roll out special sexual and gender-based violence courts across the country. We have also introduce special measures to ensure access to justice for vulnerable groups. In line with this goal, we established the special sexual and gender-based violence court in Mombasa, Chansu. Attorney General Kihara Karioki stressed the need for all arms of government to work together to enable Kenyans enjoy their rights and enhance faith in the judicial system. They call upon us to manifest piety and trustworthiness, resignation and submission to the will of God, and forbearance and kindliness, and uprightness and wisdom. Leaders and members of the class present rallied Kenyans to prudently exercise their democratic rights while praying for peaceful elections. We earnestly pray for unity among all Kenyans before, during, and after elections. Help us realize the greatness of our nation that it lies in our mutual love and charity. We pray for hope in our country that this is the beginning of a journey that will bring peace. Set free, O oh Lord, the souls of your servants from all temptations. Lord, may you make our future better than our past. Let no blood be shed in this country because of political competition. That we pray that any bias will be replaced by fairness so that we can have a fair and credible process in the name of Jesus. Similar prayers were conducted in court stations across the country. And just like the Beatitudes reveal in Matthew chapter 5 or 6 that happy are those who fast and hunger for righteousness, they shall be filled. The Judiciary National Day for Prayer and Fasting provides a good opportunity for judges and judicial officers to reaffirm their oath of office and maintain the highest levels of integrity in discharging their constitutional mandate. For Easy Fridays, I'm Ben Troy.